my friends welcome back to my channel it's weekend that means a new video tutorial and i hope it helps you to disconnect to all the incredible things that are happening right now around the world i hope that all of you are well and safe let's get started this is the paper and this is the photo and i want to incorporate the flowers around here in my work this is the gesso clear and i'm going to prime the paper applying this over all all the paper it will the clear gesso or the gesso it will help me uh, to prepare the paper to all the paints that i'm going to use it will let that the all the paints that i'm going to use like the color bloom the shimmer paints and one from heady swap that i have this one in gold runs uh, and stayed over the paper and the paper if not the paper will absorb immediately all this color okay now i want to add color here in this corner but first i need a bottle with water and uh okay now i'm going to add some drops of the burgundy color then i add waters and i'm going to let run uh, all this paint in this area i just add water and have fun <laughs> let it run and see the different shapes that it creates on the background and once you have a lot of uh, liquid or water right here i just take a paper towel and remove a liter now i take the packaging of one of, of the three boards and i'm dabbing the plastic over the paint and i push the, this paint with the plastic on the background and look it gives you like a watercolor effect very nice <clears throat> very cool and now that is dry i will add the shimmer paints in green color here in some area and i'm going to do the same i will add water and let it run the green color here because the red is already uh, dry uh, <clears throat> the green is not mixing with the red so and that is what i want that the green stay green and the red burgundy <clears throat> if you like that both uh, mix together you can add the green when the red is, is still wet and you will obtain that effect but i don't like that in this moment <clears throat> now i'm adding the burgundy color here because i want to intensify the color in this area that's the reason that you see that i don't i don't i am not adding water here just only the color and remove the excess with a paper towel to give these touches of the intense burgundy in some area now i dry again and i'm going to add the other color soon this is the gold but this time i add in the um, paint splatters in some of the area you see i don't want a lot of gold just only some touches of gold and once i, I add these drops of color i will add a liter of water and i'm going to again let it uh, let it run uh, this paint in the background i dry again and now i think that i need color in this corner here so i'm adding more burgundy color water to let it run in this side remove the excess i dry a liter and it's still wet but i add uh, some drops of the gold and i add more water i dry again and now i will add uh, some touches of green and i will let it like that once it's dry i using the bobonic stamp that comes in the kit with black archival ink and i'm going to stamp the leaves and uh, in some area here and in the same acrylic block i will add now the flower in the other side so uh, i it, it, it's it's work for me in that way i have two different uh, stamp in the same block i just uh, upside down all the time when i want to add the leaves and then i turn and i stamp the flower and i am looking where i need more of this stamp it the it add uh, it adds depth on the background and i think it looks nice for this photo all this stamping i think that 
it looks great so far so a little more here and that is okay now I'm going to paint the piece of cheesecloth I like the color of the dress to bring that you look I have this acrylic paint that match perfect and I painted I mix the color with a little black here is a frame that I cut out from this die and look what I did I placed a piece of chipboard behind the, the photo I behind the paper sorry here is the photo that I put on the frame and if you notice uh, you will see that I left out of the frame the bottom part here of the dress with the tail I think it looks nice this effect look so cool now I, I cut a piece of cardboard I put it uh, here and then over the cardboard I put the cheesecloth and I'm going to adhere the photo now to these pieces here perfect here and now I'm going to add glue because I want to uh, adhere the photo on the paper I'm going to start to embellish uh, my page now with the different pieces of the kit I will let you with music and I come back soon okay here is the final result you can see how it looks so far now i'm going to use versamark with embossing powder by blue fern studio in color gold to emboss one of the words of the shibor from creative embellishment that comes in the kit I'm, this color is beautiful i just love this gold by blue fern studio now i will uh, take the word and let me remove all the things from here and embossing okay now I'm going to melt uh, with my heat tool the, uh, pow the embossing powder and you can see here how lovely it looks now okay it's ready now let me tr uh, this is the page and I think I'm going to place it here but now I'm going to add a little more of color once I have all these uh, that I, ha I put all the things you can uh, have a better vision of the page and I think that it needs a little more of green I'm going to cut here this acetate and I'm going to you know the plastic and dab in here and there to uh, to uh, round the, the, the colors until this area and now I put some drops of the burgundy color over my mat and with the plastic I'm just dabbing the color in but 
tiny drops of color to give this uh it's like a transition between the 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 big part of the paints and the borders and i'm adding here and there they look more that like drops drops of colors here and there now with the gold i'm just uh making uh paint splatters here and there with the gold to continue the same line that i did uh, at the beginning i just uh, the gold is only in in in, in drops I add a little of water in some of the area and I'm going to let it run the gold because I want, uh, I think that it was uh, two liter of gold on the background. Now uh, I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to adhere my title here, the word shine. Okay, now it's time to add more texture and I'm using gel medium with the uh, arch stone. These are the big arch stones and I'm going to adhere uh, around all these uh, texture uh, over the, the fabric, over, over the flowers, behind the frame to create different layers. I would add arch stones you will see around all this area here. going to use the opal magic I love this color look how pretty it is it is like a gold with green and I'm just I'm going to uh, paint all the art stones all the big art stone with this paint it will give this lovely touch to the art stone I also apply the the same paint over the paint over the paper in some of the greens area but just a touch now i cover my photo and i took the different uh paints i i am making a paint splatter with the burgundy with the uh, green and also with the gold i will add uh, uh different uh paint splatters in different color here but with this tiny or uh, with this thin paintbrush because I want the drops very small and finally I add black uh, paint splatters here to add this touch lovely to to the work and once I did all these uh, paint splatter you can see here now the final result I will show you here well, with my camera um, let me oh, sorry <laughs> but you can see here all the texture the paint splatters I add a little of the gold color here in the frame and in the heart too and you can see here the stamping uh, and all of the layers of colors and here are the photos outside well my friend i hope that it inspired you to give a try uh, to find all this paint that you have and start to paint uh, background i hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial check the description box for all of the information of the kit and if you like it please give me a thumbs up and i see you soon with another video tutorial nos vemos bye bye